Hey guys, it's your girl Sneaker J and I am back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a wig. And I'm going to be showing you how I install this wig with Lavi hair. So this hair is actually from Lavi hair. And if you want to see how I made this wig, if you want to see how I installed it, then you have to stay tuned, baby. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and let's get right into the video. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're going to get right into this video. So before I install the wig, I'm actually going to show you guys how this wig was made. This video is actually going to be going a bit fast. That's because I already have a video of me making a wig. So if you want to see how I actually make a wig, slow down, and for beginners and all that type of stuff, then you guys should go ahead and check out my older video. Um, so yeah. But I am going to be using Lavi hair. They reached out to me to go ahead and do a review for them, you guys. And I love this hair. I'm not going to even lie. I love the curl pattern of this hair. I'm not sure if the front sole that I already sewed down actually matches the curl in the back. But that's fine with me. It probably was a mistake or something. But the curls are still pretty. Um, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just start sewing this in. So, yeah, you guys are just going to see me sewing everything down. Um... I already went ahead and sewed the frontal down. Sorry, I didn't record that footage. Um, I believe that everyone probably knows how to do that already. And if you don't, go ahead and check out my videos from back a couple videos back. So this video is going to be going a bit fast. That's because I'm just trying to get to the point. So yeah, but I still wanted to go ahead and show you guys how this wig was made. Um, making wigs is very easy. If you know how to sew, then you know how to make a wig. So get to it, baby. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm still sewing. I'm actually going to go ahead and be quiet because this is just like nothing to talk about here. Because it's like seeing what i'm doing already so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and let this thing play through so yeah y'all peace out So y'all, I'm all done, and these are the natural curls without any water or any um, mousse or anything like that. The curls are really pretty, y'all. Look how cute those curls are. It didn't quite stay that type of um, curl, but when you put water on them, it's like a really uh, different, prettier curl. Anyways, we're going to get right into this. I'm going to put alcohol around my perimeter of my forehead. You guys know we have to do this so we can get all the dirt, gel, grease, or whatever that's not going to make our wig stick away from um our skin i'm going to use ghost bond glue um i think this glue holds better for me i got used to it and i kind of like don't even use the got to be glued i tried it that's why i don't have a, a um stocking on my head because i try to use the got to be glued and i had an issue but anyways y'all i'm going to be spreading this across my forehead making it flat as possible and i'm just taking whatever that was flat for me you can use a popsicle you can use a pencil you can use whatever make a brush whatever and once you do that we're going to go ahead and blow dry this down um if you're a beginner you might not want to blow dry this down you would just want to go ahead and fan it with your hands or something and i'm going to go ahead and place it i'm placing this front part first and you always want to start with small pieces but you always want to do one side first and i'm just going with my hairline so you just have to go with your hairline you guys and um so yeah so go ahead and stick all that down make sure you put the lace over the glue and in the right spot so you won't have excess glue in the front and i'm going to keep on doing that i'm going to go ahead and do the other side just like i did that side and i'm following my hairline you want to follow your hairline we don't want it to be straight across like a freaking i don't know we just don't want it to be straight across we want it to look like a scalp and then once i did that i'm going to be actually taking my shears scissors or whatever you have to cut off the excess lace that we do not need or we can see it or whatever 
And then I'm going to take some makeup. This is a trick that I've learned from lace being sent to me that's not my skin tone. I just take it and put it all across the lace. But you want to do it gently and don't put too much. Um, the lace looks a little bit white, as you guys can see. But it's because they sent me a lace that wasn't my skin tone. So I just had to do like a few adjustments by just adding some makeup. Or you could have left it how it was. But it'll look a little bit more real if you add the skin tone of your makeup on there. But y'all, that's all I did right there. And then after I did that, I'm going to go ahead and take some scissors. Well, I'm going to take my blade and cut me some edges. So you guys, sh shorter the edges, the more realistic they look. If you have them long edges and you try to swoop them, it's going to look so dumb. So if you just cut them short, but not too, too, too short. Um, but if you cut them just right, um, you're going to get like a realistic look out of the edges. That's what I learned. I've seen like a few people on YouTube doing it. So I got to cut mines really short like that. And it gives you a really normal look or well, natural kind of look. You can't really make a frontal look super, super natural because we already know it's fake. But this is a natural it's going to get. And I'm just going to take my got to be glued gel in the black bottle. And I'm going to use this for my edges. I like to use this one for my edges if I'm doing a curly look because um, it holds better. And that is too long when I say long edges look funny so it's a bit too long i'm gonna go ahead and cut it um and then cut around the other ones too and then once i do that i'm gonna go ahead and swoop my edges back um i love my edges to be swooped a lot when i have curly hair i just think it looks pretty but you guys you see i'm just going to be doing my edges and swooping them fixing them up and everything like that and i'm using this edge uh comb um and i got it for like two dollars at my beauty supply store and i'm sure it costs probably the same price as well or on amazon they have them and i'm just swooping my edges y'all i like to do extra on my edges if y'all haven't already if you haven't um already can tell but anyways y'all after i'm done with that i am going to be adding some water but i'm gonna let this play and i'll be right back okay guys so i am back and my hair is all styled and ready to go well, my edges are all styled and ready to go y'all i love this hair so freaking much y'all don't even understand like the curls in this hair look at this and this is just water this is water from yesterday and oh let me show y'all my lace girl you can't even hardly see that lace huh mm. baby what lace boo what lace what lace y'all i'm getting better and better at this i swear i'm getting better and better at this and i swear if i could do it y'all could do it too you just gotta do it <laughs> you just gotta do it they got to stop doing what you're doing and do this. Do it. You don't got to pay nobody $200 or $150 to sew your stuff in. You can make your own wig and lay your own wig, baby. I'm saving money. You can do it too. Anyways, y'all. But I went ahead and combed this out because I had to do my part. So what I'm going to do is take some more water and I'm going to go ahead and spray it. Ooh, this stinks. Wait. I put rice water in here. And baby, I let it sit in here and it smells. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to get some a different water bottle. I'm gonna have to get a different water bottle. I'll be back. Y okay, I'm back. So I rinsed this out. I guess the first two squirts stunk. <laughs> Cause mm -mm, that rice water is not a joke, y'all. I, I put rice water in my regular hair yesterday when I washed it. But we're just gonna add water to this, y'all. So guys, after the water, I'm just going to go ahead and brush this side back um, just to make it look slick. You guys, the frontal was so flat, like it was so flat, no lumps or bumps in it. And it stuck down really nice. I went ahead and just put water right there. And after that, I'm going to take some mousse from Herbal Essence. I got this from Walmart. It was like $2.49 or something like that. Really affordable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some in my hand. I'm just going to put some of the product in my hair just at the top to see if the curls will actually look like the back curls like i said uh the frontal curls were kind of different from the bottom curls but it's okay i can work with it but i really really love the the, the bundle curls they were so pretty but it looked like the curls were different to me but oh well and y'all it does not shed i ain't experienced no shedding when i was washing it either 
but i mean i'm gonna come back with an updated review because i just i just love this hair like i love curly hair look at this pretty hair y'all this right here this bottom part just give me life and you know some curly hair just don't hang it'll shrivel this hair does not shrivel y'all y'all can see the whole length look the length goes way down here well give like a one inch one a one inch bounce up but that's fine with me <sighs> y'all i will stay on the camera all day all day whoa but y'all know let me get up off of here because i'm gonna put a little bit more mousse i'm gonna put some mousse right here because i want this part to stay and y'all i just want you guys to know um frontals and closures do not last a long time they do if you maintain them very well and that means tying them down um tying your perimeter down um not swimming with it unless you got like swimming glue and no pulling tugging fighting and none of that so that's why i wasn't trying to get into um putting wigs and stuff on people but y'all i just i can't get off the camera i'm sorry <laughs> this hair is so freaking cute oh let me show y'all the back y'all and this is a wig that i made this is a wig that i made i know i usually get wigs sent to me like i got like two or three wigs sent to me but all the other wigs are made and this one is made by me and this is what the back looks like y'all can't say these curls ain't just so pretty once again, this hair is from Lavy Hair, and I just want to shout out Lavy Hair. Thank you for sponsoring me. Hello. And can't wait to work with y'all again because I love this hair. But um, it comes in this really cute little bag, and gotta get a thumbnail. Sorry. Um, it comes in a really cute bag. This is cute, y'all. Like, usually you just see your hair in the box, but this is really cute. Come like a little silk bag that you could do like this, and you can save this bag for like later, or you can put your wig back in here. You can put your wig back, oh, your wig, your bundles back in here and tie it on up. But I'm actually going to stop this video and I just want you guys to know that I am on the road to 10k and I want to appreciate all of you and I want to thank all of y'all for subscribing to me, commenting, and liking or whatever you did. Thank you for everything y'all. I'm on the road to 10k, 10k. Who would have thought? Like who would have thought y'all? I encourage everybody to make a YouTube channel because you never know when you're going to blow. But anyways y'all. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your mom, your daddy, your sister, and your friends to subscribe to me. And guess what? I'm out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I am gone.